That thing right there is the NYX Biosensors sweat tracking device and application that comes with it on your phone. My name is Victor Hallathorp. I'm a two-time Olympian and nutritionist. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you my honest opinion reviewing the NYX Hydration, testing these for quite a while now. And I'm just gonna tell you everything I think and ultimately give you well, my thoughts on it, if it's worth the money or not, and how much you can actually learn from it and how that knowledge can help you become a better athlete. Now, I have not been paid in any way by NYX um, to make this video. Therefore, everything I say is just the honest truth. I do really think it's a cool, cool tool in gathering some very useful and relevant insights from your own body in order to make you a better athlete. Therefore, ask Nix if they could give me a discount code if I was to recommend this to any of my followers, fans out there. And they did give me a code. So in the description below, obviously I'm gonna leave a code for you guys to use to get some discount on your Nix hydration sensors if you end up using them. I would also love to hear from you all in the description or in the comments below what you think about this, if it's something you've had any experiences with. The reason I personally uh, reached out to Nix here and ended up buying these to test them for myself is because I do live in the state of Utah. It's a desert. Uh, this has made me realize that tracking your sweat and your loss of electrolytes, especially sodium, uh, and the impact that has on your performance, not just from racing, competing, but also in everyday practice is quite severe. Therefore, I just wanted to improve that and really understand how much sweat I lose, how much liquid I lose, and especially the amount of electrolytes. I was surprised um, finding out how large an amount that is and also how much that changes depending on the you know surroundings, the environment you're training in. So I obviously took this for a test in a bunch of different environments and I'm gonna, well, take you guys from A to C as I use these for a few weeks here in Utah, training all well, for the 2026 Winter Olympics, but the main part of my training is actually on the bike. So I think that is pretty relevant to a lot of you guys just to understand how these works, to get some insights on what the app actually gives you for the money you spend. Now, first thing I think we should look at when talking about the NYX biosensors is probably the price of them. I spent $154 that gave me a starter pack. So the actual device itself, the charger and the refill here. So in total, I have, I got eight patches um, I found that you can use them for a couple of workouts for each patch before you would have to switch to a new patch. Cool thing is once you got the actual device and the charger, all well, the patches are fairly cheap. I think it comes down to $24 for a refilled pack here. So it's not that expensive to actually continue to use it once you made that initial investment. Of course. So price wise compared to all the other things we spent on gadgets, uh, it is not the worst, but what would that matter if they're not useful, which I believe them really, really to be. So just to give you an idea of what you actually get here in the box, it's very simple, very, you know, similar to all the other different tracking devices. I found it very similar to especially glucose monitoring, where you also have a patch on your arm. This one goes on the biceps, as you can see here as I demonstrate, whereas the ultra human that I've been using, the sweat or the, um, the blood glucose monitor goes on the back of the arm. One cool thing about the NYX here is that you don't actually have to tap to transfer that data from the patch onto your, your mobile phone. You have it immediately on the app, so it's as wireless as it can get. So which is really cool, because when you're out biking, it you know you don't actually have to pull out your phone every time, and you can just gather that data automatically. Obviously, you can use your phone to look at it, and you can even put notifications as you're training. I did that every 600 milliliters of liquid loss or sweat loss, it gives me a notification. And that honestly blew my mind how often I would get those notifications. Even thinking, you know, elite athlete, I do speed skating, I do cycling, I train for a living. I try to do my absolute best to be on point with these things. I was still mind blown by the amount of liquid that I lose in a workout. Now, so how to apply the device? Obviously, you make sure the battery is charged. Personally, I really feel like the battery can last a long time. I just put it in there in the charger every week and I haven't had any issues with the life length of the battery on a full charge. Now, the way you apply it, as you can see here in the video, is also pretty simple. It kind of goes on your biceps. Uh, you can mount it here if you're nervous about your aerodynamics or 
or even a little up higher if you uh, if you don't want to get any dumb tan lines from it. It's pretty simple to apply. You can't feel anything and this sticker is of pretty high quality. The device itself is very light so I don't think it'll bother anyone as they're out training. The color itself, well, it's, it's pretty visible so you can't get around that but I do really think that's, that's not the worst thing here. Now, if we come down to the app, the software of it, which I believe like given that it works, it definitely does. The data is pretty solid. There's no like breaking points in it. Um, and it seems fairly true. The way I personally checked up on this is really just by weighing myself before workout, weighing myself after. Now I can't tell the loss of sodium or specific salts, electrolytes um, based on that, but I can tell that the amount of water that I lose is very close to the amount that the device has tracked me to sweat, of course, when subtracting the amount of liquid that I do drink during a workout to make up for it. But um, the app, super cool, it counts as you go through your workout, the amount of liquid you lose and also the amount of sodium, which I think is super cool that you can track that. And then it also has some other cool features after workout, it can save that, which is nice. Um, of course, the main thing is that it gives you the insights on how much you actually lose here, but it can also give you recommendations on different electrolyte or energy drinks that we're all basically familiar with. What blew my mind is how much you would need, say, if you drink Gatorade to make up for a session. Now, I'm gonna share with you a few of my key sessions that I had using the next device. One of them is, again, I train in Utah. It's a desert, it gets really warm. One of the workouts is above 40 Celsius. So here I am losing multiple liters and multiple grams of sodium through a workout, even though it's only two hours. Another workout here is a bit shorter, same temperatures, but lower intensity, which obviously, as you can see, makes a pretty significant difference in how much you lose. The one thing I really noticed was this indoor workout where I'm basically doing some jumps. I would still consider it the same intensity. Overall, heart rate is very similar. The amount of sweat that I lose is significantly lower. So it really does depend on the surrounding circumstances, which is really cool because the next hydration gather all that information, the air pressure, the altitude, the wind, and of course the temperature outside. And it gives you basically an estimate of how to put how uncomfortable this environment is when, it's com when it comes to dehydration, which that I think is super handy. And then you know exactly what to expect and you know how many water bottles or how frequent should I do water breaks during this workout. The final thing is what I think can make the absolute biggest difference using the next hydration is if you prepare for a specific race, specific distance or specific temperatures area, you will know how much liquid to drink and how many electrolytes you would need to get in in order to do that uh, as well as possible. You can also use the app as you do a workout to take it off that you replenished to let the app know that oh, you're back on track with your hydration and then Basically just to remind yourself to do that properly. But say you're going, you're training for a specific running event, skating event or cycling event. It is just so cool that you can really just dial in that weeks before you can practice what is your hydration game. Really cool thing about this is you can also prehydrate uh, in terms of like the human body is able to store electrolytes. So you can prehydrate before an event, obviously in between workouts. But this also gives you a good idea of like, what should I drink or eat the night before? What amount of sodium would I need in my body given how much I am going to lose during a specific effort? So to summarize, obviously I recommend you all to get a NYX hydration or sweat sensor. They are so cheap for the amount of data that you can get out of them. The app, the software is really smooth. I personally have used and learned a lot and changed, which I guess ultimately is the most important thing here a lot of things in my training and even my racing after using the NYX hydration. I would not make this video if I didn't think it was worth it. And then once you purchase the pack, well, the refill sensors are pretty cheap. The patches themselves is basically just a sticker that allows you to reuse the, the device itself. Um, if you are in a budget, my piece of advice would be just use it for your key sessions, use it to test things out. Basically the same I'd recommend for a glucose monitor. I wouldn't use it on an every ba everyday basis if you're on a budget, but if you are on a budget, I would use it for all those key sessions because you can almost gather the same knowledge. And I mean, if you know that a two hour bike ride in these temperatures and these wind circumstances, whatever, will make you lose this amount of sodium and sweat, 
you got a you know you got something out of that and you can do the same for different sessions to show you know how you should fuel how you should drink therefore i invite you all to use that discount code below it's going to save you some money and ultimately i just want to invite you to subscribe to my channel this is not the first not the last video i'll make on these biohacks tracking devices and of course if you're into skating you're gonna love my channel and just appreciate your time and hope you yeah, want to let me know how it goes as you embark on your sweat tracking journey. I'm Victor Halthorpe and I had a blast having you guys today. See you for the next video.